Welcome everyone to Race Face TV and this edition of Who's Next. Today we got a special guest as we go up to Fairfax, Virginia, where we find 11 year old nitro kart racer Miles Murray. Miles, how's it going today? I'm good. How are you? Good, man. Looks like you got a lot of hardware there behind you. Uh, looking yes, good. Got your nitro kart uniform on. So, Miles, let me ask you the question. What made you decide that you wanted to be a race car driver? Well, thank you first for having me on the show. It's an honor to be talking with you. I'm very excited. So, let's get into action. Now, first, I went... I, we have a yard car. We used to have a yard car when I was four years old. I used to drive it all the time. And when I was five years old, we, my dad took me to Old Dominion Speedway. And I was like, Dad, I really, really want to do this. And he was just like, okay, I'll buy you a go-kart. And it started ever since. So at what age did you actually start racing competitive then? I started racing when I was five years old competitive. Five years old. And so what classes did you start? racing in and what classes are you actually running in today? Um, I used to run kid car. That was my first class. And then the classes I run today are Yamaha Sportsman, LO206 and Micro Swift. All right. So you're running three classes and you're running for nitro kart. So I know that you were one of the very first drivers to come on board with Nick. So what is it like to actually run with nitro kart? And what type of advantages do you think that that gives you? Ever since I've met Nick and just been on the team, I have progressed every single race. He is the best trainer slash coach ever. Um, every person on Nitro has a positive attitude. No one ever has really just like, oh, dang. Like, I mean, they have like, oh, this is not that good. But yeah, they everyone is not like pleasant to be around and everyone helps each other well that's, that's and my that's coaches awesome. are ashley Rowe harrow um and nick and my mechanic is mike birdsell and the video recorder is michael it's michael okay so what do you actually classify as your home track i classify gopro motorplex as my home track in north carolina mooresville north carolina all right. Well, that's a neat place. I've been there a, a several different times. So what is it that you like about GoPro Motorplex so much? It has various turns that aren't that sharp, except for turn eight, the hairpin. But they, and it's just a fast, um, it's just a fast track and I like it. Have you ever looked at it from like the air? Did you know that the tracks laid out like a big G? Um, I actually haven't, but I, now I know that. Yeah, that's, it's actually pretty cool that, it, that it's actually laid out that way. So uh, I noticed that because I saw somebody that had a, a trophy from GoPro Motorplex, and it looked like a G. I mean, it wasn't a perfect G, but it, it had the uh -huh. similarities to a G, and that's kind of where that came from. So we're going to play a little. I have some trophies. Oh, you do? You got some GoPro Motorplex yeah, trophies? Yeah, I do right here, actually, a second place one from GoPro. All right, so we're going to play a little game, and it's called Get to Know Miles in 60 Seconds. Are you ready to play? Yes, sir. All right, so what is your favorite food? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Favorite video game? Uh, Roblox. Favorite TV show? Impractical Jokers. Favorite movie? Turbo. <laughs> favorite racetrack? Uh, GoPro Motorplex. Favorite subject in school? Math. Favorite racing series? Um, Monster Energy Cup Series. Favorite race car driver? Kyle Busch. And do you have any pets? I do. One dog named Tucker. One dog named Tucker. Do you take Tucker to the racetrack with you? Yep, sometimes. He's a little beast, though. All right. <laughs> okay. All right, so give us a quick rundown of your racing career. Um, in 2012, I started out racing in Old Dominion Speedway, and I got third place in points. In 2013, I was the champion of King George Speedway. In 2014, I won 13 out of 18 races at King George Speedway in kid kart. In 16, I joined Nitro Kart 
in WKN, I got 12th in points. And it was my first national win. Of uh, 2017, I got um, Maryland Sprint Series champion Micro Swift and WKN Micro Swift, sixth place. Well, that's pretty impressive, man. Um, and so in 2018, uh, currently, are you second in the WKA Man Cup Series uh, in the Micro Swift yes, class? Yes, I am. All right. So what's yes, the 2008? What does your 2018 racing series look like uh, so far? Um, it looks like I really want to get more podiums, more and finish more on the uh, get more top threes. All right. So. Let's think back now to all the races that you've done. What has been your most memorable race? When I got third place at Warm Palm, Pennsylvania. And why was in that? The rain. Because it was in the rain and I just haven't never got third in a national race before and I was so excited. National race in the rain. So share with yep, the- and here, here's the trophy. Sorry for that. No problem. But here's the trophy. All right, got the hardware for that one. So share with the viewers a little bit that may not know how much more difficult it is to actually run in the rain. So, I mean, I'm, you think about it, you know, none of the NASCAR series run in the rain. Uh, I, I'll take that back. They did run a couple of road courses. They put some windshield wipers on. They had some rain tires. But if you ever watched that race, it didn't work out too well. So you guys are kind of like Formula One and Indy cars. You'll, you'll actually run in the rain. Tell us the difference between running in rain and running not in the rain. Well, running in rain, you have to have a whole different setup. Like you said, rain tires, uh, you have to drive a different line other than a, the uh, dry course. And a dry course, you can go way faster and just like do the right line through the corner and get your good times. But you just got to be smooth in rain tires and just stay consistent. And it's always a big advantage if you could be leading a rain race, right? Because you don't have all the spray from everybody else in front of you. Yep. All right. So what was it like to actually win your first race? Well, Ron, I was so excited. I tried to do a bird out and it didn't work too well. So I just did backwards around the course with the checkered flag. So all right. I was very happy. So what happened? What happened with the burnout? Um, I don't know. They, but everyone tried to help me. They came out. The flag man came out. It, it, didn't, it didn't work. So you did a reverse lap with a checkered flag, kind of a salute to Alan Kowicki. <laughs> yep. All right. Perfect. So I know, I know that all racers have to make sacrifices um, to be, you know, to pursue a racing career. So what are some of the sacrifices that you've made? Well, giving up time with my friends and like just not being where I want to be, sort of. I mean, I want to be at the racetrack, but in just giving up time with for school and just, yeah, mostly school. Mostly school. So has that, has it all been worth it though? Oh yeah, definitely worth it. So who are your biggest supporters? My biggest supporter is my mom, my dad, my sister, Nick Tucker and my sponsors. Okay, so let's talk about who are some of your heroes in racing? My really Kyle Busch and Joe Gibbs, definitely. Like and, all Joe Gibbs team. Yeah, so so what 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 is it that you like so much about Joe Gibbs? They're fast cars like Nitro Kart and they're very very nice to people. Sort they, of, yeah. You know what? I would I would agree to that. Joe and Pat are, are great people. Joe's got a book out sometime. I don't know if you've got it yet, but you might want to get it and, and actually read that book. It tells a lot about their family, the faith that they have, a very, very strong faith-based company. And um, I, I would agree with you, man. If if I was uh, if I was a racer in today's world, I, I would think you know, I'd really like to, you know, I'd like to be on Stuart Haas right now because they're dominating. But when it comes down to it, I think Joe Gibbs is, is a class act. Um, you know, I mean, that goes all the way back to his football days. So, so let me ask you this question. What does Miles do when he's not racing? I actually 
actually ride my dirt bike and four wheeler and yeah, basically that. And I ride my real bike. Um, and yeah. Okay, so I've got some things here that I see that you've been able to accomplish too. So you were named patrol captain for the 2018, 2019 school year. Uh, you made the rank of Boy Scout, so you went from Cub Scouts to Boy Scout. Do you have the Do you have the goal to become an Eagle Scout? Um, yes, I do. All right. So eight years on your swim team, five years playing baseball. So what position do you play in baseball? Well, actually, I don't play baseball anymore. But I last year I did, and I was um, a catcher. Oh, something we have in common. You know what? <laughs> <clears throat> in my opinion. Not because I was a catcher, but I think it's the most important position on the team because you have the view of the whole field. You're involved with every single play involves the catcher. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so you started playing football now in the spring of this year, and you went yeah. to the Super Bowl. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, at first, I never played flag football, so I was a little iffy about that, but I tried new things, stepped up from baseball, and I just, I, at the start, we kept on winning games, winning games, and all of a sudden, I was on defense, and one game, I went to Dover International Speedway to watch a race, and he, and our team lost, because I wasn't there. But we made it to the Super Bowl, as you said, and we lost the Super Bowl, but we still, we, our coaches were proud of us and parents. Well, I'm sure they were. So what position did you play on defense? Um, I was actually a rusher. I was a um, on the line rusher, well, back, but a rusher. Okay. All right. So you also play in a school band. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, actually, we had a concert before, like a week ago, and I did good. I, I played a lot of songs on percussion, which that's what I play, percussion. And percussion is you can play there. We all play bells on one song. We all play like, or not all of us, but we play, I played uh, like a crash cymbal and a uh, snare drum, actually. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the rest of your 2018 year and what big races do you have coming up? I have Chicago, um, Illinois is coming up. I have for WKA and I'm focusing on GoPro Motorplex karting challenges and um, local races. Okay. So where do you see yourself in the next five years? Um, I don't really know, but I'm going to keep on working. If someone, I'm going to keep on trying carding and for someone noticing me, hopefully, and try to get to like start out in the truck series and go to Xfinity, then be in NASCAR in um, Monster Energy. All right. So you're going to progress from the go karts. You want to get into the, to the, to the NASCAR uh, Monster Energy Drink series. It's probably going to have a new name by the time you get there. But uh, so th those are kind of like your main racing goals. We now know what series that you want to want to race in. So um, and there, there's going to be some progression there. Uh, wh where do you see yourself going from the cart series before you get into the truck series? You're going to have to do a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, late model racing in between there. But is there something between carts? and late models that you think you might get involved in? Um, I really think maybe I'll get involved in late models, hopefully, because uh, my friend actually raced late mo races late models, and, um, and I think they're going to be really fun if I race one, so I do want to race a late model. Do you have any, have any aspirations of maybe doing a little bit of legend racing in between the the carts and the, and the late models, or you want to go straight into late models? Maybe, but I think maybe I'm going to go straight into late models. All right. So tell us something that most people doesn't know about you. Well, I am a patrol captain at my school. You mostly named all of them. I'm a patrol captain at my school. Um, I am a, a Boy Scout now, and I like 
lot and, or black. And I uh, recently handed the flag to Kevin Harvick, and I went on his show. All right. Well, tell us all about that. That had to be an amazing adventure to be, you know, to give Kevin the the uh, the checkered flag in victory lane, and then to go on his show. So tell us a little about that. Yeah. So um, I have my own flags, and I went to Dover. And I just waved them up in the stands, and like one of the flagmen saw, and I was like, oh my gosh, he just saw me. But he looked back and like patted him, and they both looked back at me for a second. And he, they all, but at the end of the race, I went down next to the flag stand and did the white and the checkered. And the flagman, when he was coming down, he waved me over and he, gave me the official checkered flag and we went under like a fence and handed it to Harvick. All right. And you did a, did you do it? You did a radio interview with him. Is that correct? Yes. Um, we talked about like, what was I trying to say to him? And he also sent me this hat right here. Um, yeah, it's very cool. And it's signed. All right. Well, awesome, man. So before we end up here, do you want to talk about any of your sponsors? Yes, um, actually, here's my two sponsors. Uh, Gillen Enterprises. Oh, okay. Gillen Enterprises and Century Tile. So All there's right. the uh, sponsors. There's the, so, there's the sponsors. So you, you got you to gotta have sponsors to move forward in the racing world, don't you? Yes, and I really like to thank them right now. All right, well, very good. So do you have a website, a Facebook, an Instagram, anything that you want to share with the viewers? I have all of them. Uh, website is www.milesmracing.com. Facebook is Miles Murray Racing. And Instagram is Miles underscore Murray underscore Racing. All right. Well, Miles, I want to thank you for being with us. You're a great interview. Uh, I know that you've got some... Uh, uh, a, a new YouTube channel going on. Do you want to we'll give a shout out to your YouTube channel so we can get some more people to subscribe to it? I don't know about that. I have different things. That I don't, not really, but yeah. So I don't really. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll come back to that. Maybe we'll come back and interview you a little bit later. So there you have it. Miles Murray, 11 years old, Fairfax, Virginia, races for night, nitro cart. Miles, good luck for the rest of the year. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today to uh, Who's Next. Uh, Miles is one of the very first kart racers that we've had on our Who's Next program. So again, everybody, thanks for tuning in. As always, go out and support local racing in your community, and we'll see you all back here in two weeks for Who's Next. Good night, everybody.